Hello balloon artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy hippo balloon animal. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands, helping you take your balloon art to the next level. And for your hippopotamus, you're going to need a 350 with a good long tail. I'll cut about six fingers. We're not going to use all of this, so it's not too critical. And you want to make a flower petal loop of about four fingers or so, maybe five, and twist that off and then take that neck and nozzle and just pass that through. So that's going to keep that secure. And then we want to make, in fact, give your balloon a little squeeze. And then we want to make a body that is about twice the length of the head. And then just twist that off and we can break off the end and tie. Just tie that into a knot. Okay. And trim off any excess. Next, take a 160 with the tail of a couple of fingers and make a small loop of two to three fingers okay and then just take your loop and just pass that through the center of your hippo's head okay and then just push that little ear upwards okay make a twist in this balloon and then twist off another bubble it is a couple of fingers so you want those two little ears to match okay break off here hold on to the rest just tie a knot in this one and just let a little bit of air out of this and then tie this one off as well we're going to need this okay that little bit of excess there just pass that through the center of the hippo's head and wrap it around this ear and that's going to keep everything in position okay and if you're enjoying this tutorial check out my critter series where i show you how to make lots of adorable animal characters best of all you don't have to use a single pinch twist if you don't want to i'll leave a link to the critter series in the description below Take the 160 purple that you've got left and give that a good stretch and take that knot and just wrap that in at the neck, okay? And then wrap the 160 snugly around the body and twist, okay? And then we want to make a small loop of perhaps about three to four fingers. Give that a twist, wrap that in at the neck. And with what's left, we want to make two small arms. So stretch everything out and twist off a bubble that is perhaps about seven fingers, sorry, seven inches or so, six, six inches maybe. Bring that up the other side and you want to match. So make another bubble to match that one. Wrap that around the neck and then you can break the rest off and you can tie a knot. So that's what you've got at the moment. So this is what you've got at the moment, okay? Next, take a six inch heart. I've inflated it so the lobes are just starting to appear, okay? And take that knot and nozzle and just wrap that into the neck area. Just twist it round a few times, hide the knot in the back, and then we just need to position our hippos Head. Take a black sharpie and draw two circles. Colour those in. And then I do my eyebrow. And then I draw two nostrils. And then using an Edding 750 paint pen, I draw a larger and a smaller circle in each eye. 
And if you want to give your hippo some feet, just take a couple of five inch rounds, inflate it to about four fingers, squeeze the air into the end, twist off a bubble, and turn that into a pinch twist. Okay, take that knot and just tie. Okay, and make another one of these. So take your feet, just pull this 160 forward and just position the feet underneath so that they, um, the pinch twists are poking out the back. And then just hold on to everything and just slide everything back into position and they will hold, they will just be pressure fitted there and hold in place. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel. I publish new videos every Tuesday. And if you activate the notification bell, you won't miss any of my future videos. And I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you again in the next video.